Hello, 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 everybody. Today I am going to announce two winners. Yep, one, two. Um, I thank everybody who answered the questions, but I said the first person who answered the question will win. Enjoy the video. Ha, you thought I was going to announce it now. Mm. Hello, everybody. First, I want to say we're not doing a picture inside this thing. My um, flamingo plates. This was a plate that I had for a Hawaiian uh, birthday party I gave for my husband last year. And this is one of the last plates that I had. So, um, yeah. So, I'm doing something different with this little vase here. I think this is the last of the four vases that I had, and I am going to do a white, look it, look it, look it, look it, look it, finger dancing, white paint, and then I'm going to pour a resin over it that has glitter in it. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use silver. I have, ugh, sorry. I'm gonna show you. You know I gotta keep you informed on what I'm gonna use. So here's a silver one, but it's so fine. I think I'm gonna try and find something thicker because you know here's the gold and see how how thick that gold is. So it will show up. So I'm gonna do a white base with the white here, and then I'm gonna pour resin over it that has the glitters in it. So um, I'm just gonna do the first part now and let that dry for, oh, oh, go, go, got a, I got a white toenail now. Um, and then just, this is gonna be thick cause I wanted it to stick. Not like my pores, I wanted to, you know, pour off and do whatever, but this one I wanted to stick some more cause I'm not trying to cover a picture at the bottom. So I'm gonna let that go down while I find that cap. And one moment. You see it's pouring down. I filled my flame blower up with some butane this morning. So I'm gonna pour, just keep on letting it pour real slow. Push it over. I don't care about the colors mix it because it's only one color. So just to get a good cover on this base. So what y'all think about that? I got my husband's video playing in the background. Got to support him on his new Victory Gardening channel to show, you know, what's going on in our backyard. Today in Sacramento is kind of hot. I had to go out there and spray some weeds. Spray some weeds. You know, we were driving last week from um, going to the the uh, lake. It's a lake. It's a lake. I kept saying it was a river, but it's a lake. And I, we noticed that the roads were so bumpy. I told him, I said, babe, I'm getting sick, like car sick. Because the roads are so darn bumpy. And they're just horrible. And I want to know, is this just California? They're not taking care of our roads? Because, you know, we had all that rain. But, but you know, it rains everywhere. And I know people in Texas, they get, like, serious floods to where cars be floating down the highways. And, you know, are y'all roads as bad as ours? If not, maybe California need to talk to y'all states and find out what y'all put on y'all roads. Because it's all over. I mean, I know Biden gave all that money for transportation to fix these roads. But my goodness. Why did they even get this bad in the first place? You know? 
I was really getting the car sick. He's like, you ain't getting car sick. I was like, I'm getting car sick. Because this one street that we go down, Fair Oaks Boulevard, that's just crazy. Ooh, I hope it don't get thick, thick on some parts of this. Ugh. When I pour it over. I was thinking about painting it, but I don't want any streaks or anything. I just want to smooth, smooth, you know, surface here. Maybe I'll put a little bit more water in it because that is pretty, pretty thick. Uh, so how you guys? How you guys in your neck of the woods? Ugh. So I know y'all saying this is something different. Yeah, this is still a vase pour. See, I'm pouring, I'm pouring, I'm pouring. <laughs> this is still a vase pour, but this is just going to be different. I was thinking about how to put the glitter on here on a white vase because I want to use it for something. But then I was like, ah, oh, it's only going to show up in a certain part of it. You know, and, and, it, and it just started, my head started going crazy with trying to think of how to put it on here then i said you know what i know i said i was gonna give up resin but this is my way of using a little bit come on pour down pour down i put some more water in it i think it was a little bit too thick Hoping this will pour off and level off, you know, the way the way I have it envisioned in my head. You know how we we say, oh, we're gonna do something this way, and it's gonna even when we cook, even you know when I cook, sometimes I be like, oh, it's gonna taste like this, and then when I finish, either I love it, love it, or I'm just like, oh, that didn't taste like <laughs> like what I thought it would be. So to save my white paint, I'm going to just pour it back on the top. Yeah, my and my mind be going. Sometimes I be sitting there thinking about colors and what colors to put together. And my husband like, what you thinking about? And I be like, vase pouring. <laughs> He's like, he don't want to hear no more. Like, uh, is it pouring on your side? Is it getting it covered? Nope, it's, I think the paint's too thick. See, 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 and I wanted to just stick on there, but if it's going to be too thick and not pour down and clump up like that, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. So I put a little bit more water in my white paint just to see how I did this raid can right here because I got a fly in here and I don't have a fly swatter. That fly's so bold, he came and sat on my shoulder. how this works because I know if I pour it after shaking it so much it's going to be a lot of bubbles so I got a good covering over here so I don't think not over there or on this side yeah that's flowing a little better uh oh it's just dripping now the way this base is shaped come on get that car side push it on down Push it on down.
My husband got commercials during his video. He ain't monetized yet. Do y'all get commercials for me? Let me know. Oh, that's thick. That's thick. But it's pouring down. Let's get this bottom real covered. Well, I'm going to let that pour and I'm going to see how it turns out. Hold on a minute. Well, she is perfectly dripped now. Some of the drippings I poured back on there or I put them in the bottle. I know when this dries, it's going to be stuck to that and I can just clean that up with a serrated knife or with my thing that I use to cut resin off. And I'm just going to wait until it dries for a couple hours. Then I can take it off of here and put it on a holder and um, not mess it up, maybe about four hours. So that I can pour the resin, um, this can be hold, held up on something. I know what I'm going to use and um, hold it up. And then I am going to pour the resin down on it. And I have decided to use the gold because I don't have any big silver. And these are so fine and I want the gold. I want the um, glitter to sparkle on here. So I think I'm gonna, the first one I'm going to use is the is the gold okay so you'll see in the next part so i have been stirring and stirring and, and stirring and stirring and stirring this epoxy uh, up this resin and was one part one part a and b and it has some bubbles in it so i'm gonna tap 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 Stir slowly to maybe break, stir slowly to maybe break up some bubbles. Talk a little louder because I don't, I want you guys to hear me. Is my camera crooked? Y'all know I be having issue with my camera being crooked. There we go. Hello. Let's do the finger dancing. <laughs> yeah, we got some bubbles going on, but I guess I'm going to spray it to see how it turns out. I didn't know what to put underneath it to catch. Maybe I'll. So I think I'm gonna change my mind and put this in here. This is where the vase was at. Make sure that vase is straight and level. It's probably not, it don't look level. Sorry, got the sniffles. Allergies. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Why didn't anyone ever say before, you should measure it both ways, Thelma, to make sure it's leveled? I never did that, so that's probably why it was pouring off on one end. So I decided to do the big flakes, the goat ones here. So I am going to... I want to put not a whole lot at first. I'm going to see. Uh oh, this must be a new. And I don't want you know what's going to happen. I'm going to go flick, and all of this is going to come flying out. Yep, this is a new container. Got the tape on it still. Sorry. Where my little cutting knife at? She's right here. 
Oh my God, this thing is like them blockbuster container. Oh my God, remember it back in the day when we had those blockbuster videos that we just bought and how hard it was to get them out of the can out of the case. Oh my gosh, that's what this is like. I done spilled some already. And that um, tape that was on there, it just, woo, it's everywhere. So I'm just gonna take, I have a little teaspoon here and just take out probably a half a teaspoon. Try that first. I don't wanna put a lot, 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 but I wanna make it so that it shines through this white. Remember, we're just trying this out. Oh, it come into a, oh, there we go. Mm, I think I'm gonna put some more. Cause look, it's just showing it just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. And it's all going to the bottom, of course. Little bit more. Put all that up. So I guess I'm gonna have to start stirring it as I pour. Put all this stuff up. So it won't go to the bottom of the cup. Oh. Come on. Come on. Actually, this is looking really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is looking pretty. You know, when something's looking pretty and you're trying it out for the first time, it ain't going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. It's going to work. Be positive, Thelma. Be positive. Positive. So I'm taking what's in the bottom and just putting it out on top because I'm going to push it over. Try to dump what's at the bottom. Scrape the sides. Dump it. And then just make sure it comes out on all sides. Cause it's not gonna be at the bottom cause these are too big for the bottom. So I wanna look around to see, ooh, ain't nothing pillow poured on this side. If it did, it just poured on off. So I'm just gonna scrape and make sure it goes off evenly on the sides.
like it that it's just like sprinkles here. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scrape up some of this epoxy at the bottom and put it back on top so it can push. It's so hot here in Sacramento, this stuff. I'm surprised it ain't set it up already and hard. We're looking to have some 115 degrees heat. I hope all of it don't come off. I come back and all of it's all, <laughs> it's all white with little specks. <laughs> then I'll just start all over and put some more on there. Y'all know me, first you don't succeed, try, try again. Yeah, I can tell it's getting, it's getting a little thick. Starting to settle in. I think it's pretty for a test run I think it's pretty will I do another one maybe 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 uh oh uh oh uh oh so you, you know that that um, that's a mess up right there you gotta have poxy even girl I mean honey I looked at my analytics Lilix from um, on YouTube, and they said 100% of my viewers are met are female. But I'm like, my husband look at my thing. I asked him, "What you got your sudden ass?" So I guess his little one percent ain't enough to to count. So it's 100% women. It's hot and it's setting up. I can tell what I was thinking about doing was just putting some, some gold on here because this is still dripping. It's going to flow. It's going to drip. It's going to drip and just, hmm. And see how it turns out.
well, let me wrap this up because I don't want this video to be crazy, crazy long. Since it is a two-part video. And bring you in and show you what's going on. I like it. It's a little cutie. I might wait. I hope it makes like streak effects on here but you know they say that that resin's supposed to dry flat but let me bring you in so i wanted the bottom not to have any on it so it won't have any tilts oops sorry won't have you know flat so it can stand up so that's pretty it's still going down and I'll probably still play with it afterwards and show a picture of it at the end. This side needs some hair. Yeah, right there. Got a little ball spot. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That's pretty. It's going to have a little texture. Y'all know how I feel about texture. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yep, got to put some more right there. Let it pour down right there. Oh, sorry. And right up in here. But I kind of like the specs. I like the ombre look, you know, with it a little bit here and then uh, some at the end. I'll probably put some more at that, that bottom part so that it looks like it's speckled. And then the bottom, it has more, you know, right there, which is the top, which is going to be the bottom. Well, you guys, thank you. I appreciate you. Deuces, my first acrylic and resin pour over the acrylic with glitter vase. <laughs> Bye. Hope you enjoyed that video and if you stuck around this long or just probably fast forward to find out who the winners were dun, 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 dun. I got my glasses on <laughs> at Delaney Dugan 4020 she knew what size canvas it was 24 by 36 and at breezy K 63 yes it was five colors so send me uh, which vase you want and your information to two old hags two at gmail.com that's the number two old hags two at gmail.com thank you and i appreciate you bye